Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, today's video, uh, some pirates. Why not? <laughs> um, I've seen a couple things similar to it. It does okay. I think this, if you're doing anything, you probably want to go to self damage. But it, it seems like almost the same stuff you've been playing six months ago. I mean, if I guess it's if if you want to win, you know, probably go with that. Um, going through the cards, um, I, I don't know why, but I feel like I mentioned this in the video. Like, there's some decks right now that I feel like they they play scenario to tempo out, and like how the old like trap decks used to they'd play scenario round one just to f make sure they won round one and then they would be uninteractive or whatever but their actual real threat isn't the scenario it's the stuff they do with all the other cards um except for the siege stuff that's just bonkers um but pretty cool card i i like it it's um uh, it's different you know that's Skellige's scenarios before they're they were they were just always weird. Um, at least this one has some conformity to it. Like um, Yalmar, I like this card. It it gets kind of weird sometimes if you can't get the damage in. Like you have it in hand and like you don't get any boosts on it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, a Blood Eagle to pull some cards. Um, you need that uh, Blood Thirst three to get. Uh, whatever you want to pull or whatever um but it's it's just a nice thinning tool look for some stuff um king brand mostly just to get the veterans up you know a little bit more you got your uh there really isn't that many veterans in the deck huh i mean you got I know I have some, aren't they? Oh, there they are. Veteran. Veteran. I was like, wait a minute. I know there's... I forgot they moved the tags into the things. Veteran. So, yeah, they're there. Um, It's an okay... F it's not really a finisher, is it? It's mostly like a carryover type play. Uh, Yastina. I love this card. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Morkvarg. There's going to be something I Plus it's a proc for the scenario. You know, if you have this and scenario, it's pretty much like having scenario and Vilgaforts, I would say. Um, Naval Supremacy. This card's, like, weird. Um, it makes damage on everything, so it helps get you your armor build up. But I, I like it. I think it's cool. But... Um, Terror to see card can get insane. Um, stunning blows because you got the the raider guys. What are they called? The high warlords. So you know a lot of these can get super value. The funeral boats. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you run against Nilfgaard and they have any type of copy with those flanking guys, you are in for a very rude awakening if you think you're gonna win that game <laughs> with at least with this deck because they can pass and you're 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 never going to catch up you're physically never going to catch up so if that happens if they get like two of these and two of those flanking guys that do damage every turn just pass <laughs> there it ain't happening it ain't happening um it, that might be the most lethal uninter uninteractive hero pass you could pull <laughs> um i really I, in these these cards came out when i you know, took my little bit of a break. I, I didn't think I would like them, but I actually kind of do the, the Seagulls. But um, I got uh, three games. Uh, one of them's a tie. Uh, tell me where I could have maybe won the game. I didn't go over it just yet. But let me know in the comments. Maybe if I could have won that game. Um, but thank you guys so much for all the love, man. Um, gonna, like I said, try to do uh, try to do like three videos a week. I'm uh, trying to put out content every day. It's too much pressure. If it uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to run myself into the ground trying to make content. <laughs> it's just not worth it, man. I, uh, I That was part of the reason why I had to take a break. My blood pressure was 
so high and I was so stressed out over, not, I mean, not, not this, but there was just a lot of things going on. It's like, I don't, I don't, I'm not putting that kind of stress on myself. So I just appreciate you take the time to watch, man. That's whether it's 20 people or, you know, a thousand people, man, I'm, I'm always grateful. Um, and I pretty much say it every video. So, uh, three games and I will see you guys at the end. Overwhelming hunger. Just need more bark. All right, so we got the boat, the bleed. That's a pirate. This is a pirate. I think we mulligan that though. We have answers here. These are gonna go up to threes. Is that gonna be enough with the long ship? I am not very good at uh, drawing golds today. It's frost, yeah. Overwhelming hunger frost. Overwhelming hunger frost. And he has... Thing. Well, that's good we got that out of the way now. Um... Kill this now. Now we go for the long ship. Matic. <laughs> oh boy. I don't want him to get the extra value. So he's got two forms of carryover. We get this pirate down. Resist the young will, and that's how we'll end Oh, the scenario's gone, that's right. We have to save this Mork Park. I don't know why, but I feel like there's... I could, I could see a defender coming in. I mean, if he wants to pass on that, I'm okay with it. He doesn't want this to get out of his hand, right? And... That should be this sh this should take us around. That's four. He's damaged by three. He's gonna That's his carryover. I mean he's gonna get there, but it's gonna be painful. He didn't click. He's got an eight. Take it. How do I not have any armor? I don't think I give him any more cards. He's already thin so well. I mean, I'll play all these. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's shenanigans. Overwhelming hunger, Maddock. <laughs> oh. Carry over, carry over. We need some more shit. Right now, we what are this up to three? 
How long do I not have any armor? Where'd I go first? He does have three points of carryover no matter what. That's fine. We play every card. He thin better than me, but... I just can't believe I haven't gotten any damage. At all. We get this for three. That's nice. We get the croc. Finally get armor on our fucking big boy. Jesus. I think we could take him. He's gonna play the m movement card. Right? Is it worth it? I can't get there, can I? I clash with it and hit it for 10. I lose 10. We've still got some good stuff. The Matic is what hurts that carryover. I mean, granted, I get to use my leader ability on it at the end for sure. But that's huge. I forgot about that. These will actually be pretty good. Um, Justina is what we're looking for. The uninteractive is nice. I got both the uninteractive. What's he eating is the question. Like, what what's the game here on the eats? I should, I should be able to get the Yustine out. Do I hit it? Or do I take the thing before he eats it? Do we take this? I think we take this. He hits it, right? And it's bad news for him. He gets it gets armor back. It's actually kind of huge. Poison. Poison. Do we even go with the Yustina? Or is it more points for this? Last card. A Morvid for 18 and 2 consumes. 26. I think I get there. Oh, I get there by a couple. Woo! Three points. 
Good game. All right, mirror match. Mark Varg would be nice. We have him. That's good. Uh, scenario probably round one. All the damages are good. Probably don't need these. Well, we need a pirate. And a pi these are the two pirates. Drop one of these, I guess. Okay. So what will they play first? Do they go warrior? Rock, round one. Wow. Okay. Well, let's do this. We go here. So now these are fives. Sixes. So six, technically I can kill it. He didn't boost this. Which I find is odd. Um, we always take this, right? It's too easy. So technically, I can kill this in two turns. Technically, we can kill it in two turns. Will it be worth it? He still he starts dropping everything next to it, right? It goes by halves. Oh, uh, we ignore the armor, right? Eight. Ah, oh, shit. We're one point away. We kill it though. We kill it. Sucks its base power is so high, you know. So it doesn't damage. That seems weird. I think we spent so much time killing the. Killing the croc. Miss it. Miss it. <laughs> so damage to up 10. If I play this. Do we get there? I don't think so. The morgue's going to be kind of useless. Go 6. That's 9. We still need 8 points. We'd have to play this. Oh, plus we're losing three. Never mind. Never mind. This is always going to be really bad against this matchup, though. We have the... Well, we have the two pirates. Possible carryover. Do we keep the birds for this round? We got to fish for more golds, right? Or do we just get rid of this? So they're going in. Boat! Go. Scenario. So now we are in it. Maxi, whoa. Damn, I'm just a couple short on this frickin'. Do we just wait?
I mean, we're still up, right? I can even play the Mork, but I gotta get this. It's giving him too much leftover value. Oh, the Mork Fargs can actually be pretty good. Um. We want him to keep boosting, right? Yeah, boost this up. <laughs> okay. So we might still get a good Mork. Scenario, was it worth it? I don't know. Still some good cards out there. We're going to have a last same Mork. This hurts. These are a little bit too late, right? I guess they can come back, but... We go first. Fortunately, we have something to go first. <laughs> so they have the scenario. Only four. Go for Croc, right? And we hit up these three buggers. Having the two damages is nice. That's fine. Hit that for nine, that sucks. This is this is the move, right? Should have went on another row. Funeral boat. That's gotta die. Goodbye. No no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not today. So he's got this boosted up to a billion. Because he's got the, another armor smith, he's gonna boost this up. That's our Morkvarg target. He's gonna play the birds. Let's see if it was worth it. If I should have saved them. I still think I'm all right. Because I got this, because... Alright, so he plays... He's got to play the Armor Smith first. Ah, maybe not. Are you kidding me? This Mork's going to only play for six points. It's the armor thing. So I win with that? What does he get to here? So he's given armor to it. So I guess we just kill one of these birds. No right? He plays that thing that's got four... It's the big tank, right? Yeah. Terror to see. Do we win? We tie? We 
tied. Huh. Weird. I don't know if there was any other way around it. I guess if I would add something uninteractive, maybe I should have kept the birds. Alright. What will it be? Probably a mirror. Let's see locks. We got a lot of uninteractive. Um, boat's good, damage is good, this is good. Is our hand too good? Yikes. This always gets locked, right? So we play the raider first to get locked, right? Now we can get the boat out. I'm sure it's going to get locked another way. Oh, it's this crazy deck. Uh, we don't let... It's only four. It's only four. We didn't draw the... the good damages. We go boat, no matter what. They're gonna play another one of these. These get up to like, if you play into like six cards, they get up to like 15, 16. It gets pretty extravagant. Whoa! Okay, so we're jumping out of this round pretty quick. Um, I think we save our uninteractive stuff. Guess we just play the pirate. I mean, they have the boat. They're playing a mirror this turn. Holy shit. So they're getting all the poisons in this turn. Good. Let's see what you got left. Cultus? Is it the cultus? It's almost like uh, if you remember elves when they first started with the traps, they would kind of like play their their thing first, their scenario, just to make sure they won. We just go in interactive all fully. This will, this is going to be huge in this matchup. Uh, what else do we want to draw? Our scenario. <laughs> uh, let's drop this. That's fine. This is immune. That's actually really good. Where do they get the movement from? Only one will walk away from this. This is a bad target for him, so. So, Furcart into. Does he get double? So, we kill this. up to three. This is six. I mean, I'll take a... I'll take a leader charge for it to get the savagery. One on the good row. <laughs> we still have this. I think we're going to play the on crate.
What's he put back in this? Really? Or what though? You only have seven cards. This is damage by three. It's pretty good right there. This is six. Do we want a little bit more insurance on it? I think it's too perfect. I think we just take it. Nine point play. Staying up. Pikeman. Insta destroyed. No bleeds for you, sir. got a card on them. Their leader is going to be kind of awkward though because they get these big strength units. I guess we play that. Um, these are up to fives. Still no scenario. Ouch. We need this for... Oh, we can play this for proactivity. Is this enough points with this damage? We got damage here, here, here. Oh, jeez. Um. So we always just start with this. Look closely, kiddos. I'm my courageous mother. So we'll have to see if these eight points matter. It has armor, damage it by eight, damage by seven. That's a shame. You gotta do it though. You want something to hide, right? Does he have way more cards than I do, or am I just seeing shit? This is kind of weak. So we missed Bran, Blood Eagle, and our scenario. It's a lot of golds. Oh, rot tossers, I see. Um so we kill one. We can kill the other one. This has thing on it, so we can kinda play around it. Ah. Ah, that's cute. That's very cute. So I can kill both of these? Damage three units, correct? He's only got one charge right now. So I think that's the way to go. And we play this here. One, two, three. Beagle coming in clutch. He's only up to 12. I guess I could play him next. Ship. So he's just straight up. So he gives me the doom tag. What am I more scared of? This can't poison anything. So I think I go here. That's 15. This thing's 12, right? Damage self by own base power. Then split as much damage randomly between the units. So 9. I could... 
possibly get one killed. Alright, that was cute. Take it. Back on Team Birds. This thing's up to 10. He... This is just such a big target for him. He only has one charge here. Petri's Filter. So he's... He's an imposter friend. He's saving that charge. I, th I want to say that's incorrect. Um, see, he can't double poison, though. So I think I killed this. <laughs> Got him. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, that's the video of today, guys. Um, once again, thank you so much for all the love, man. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to put a video out every day, but I'm gonna, you know, three videos a week. I think is doable for me. So just keep an eye out for it. The notification button. I don't ask anybody to do it if you want to. Cool. If not, you know, I know people don't like being notified like that on their phone and stuff. So if you hit it, cool. If you don't, or if you do. If you don't, you know what I mean. <laughs> I appreciate you either way. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.